Hi, my name is Marsh. I'm the blonde from Coding Blonde, and you guys seem to have really enjoyed my video about optimizing your workspace to become more productive. So I have decided to expand on the topic and talk about your home and how to make it smarter. Before we jump in, I wanted to thank Keyhero for supporting this video. Keyhero lets you create and store a digital backup for your key so that if you ever lose it, you can replace it super easily. Check out the link in the description for more information. So are you guys ready? Here are five ways in which you can optimize your home and make it smarter. Number one, get a smart thermostat. I'm one of those people who are always cold, and yes, my shoulders are the coldest parts of my body right now. And this is why I've decided to start with this one. I can imagine a smart thermostat would be a game changer for people like me. And why is it so cool? Well, one of the benefits is saving energy, and therefore saving money on energy. In fact, some companies have reported that smart thermostats can help people to save up to 23% off their energy bill from cooling and heating the house. So saving on those things. And you can also control your thermostat and therefore the temperature of your house remotely, so from your phone. This means that if you've left on a holiday and forgot to turn off the heating, you can easily do so from the comfort of your mobile phone. And this means that you don't have to worry about the heating bill at the end of the trip. And of course you can program it so that it controls the temperature throughout the day. Uh, for example, you don't have to have heating on when you're away or during the night. And then you can program it so that it turns on just before you wake up so that when you wake up, the comfort of your blanket doesn't hold you back from getting up which happens to me a lot. And a lot of these thermostats have a motion sensor so they know when you're home, when you're not home, and they can learn from you and you can basically save energy that way. And finally, of course, they let you analyze your energy consumption and see patterns and see how you can basically optimize that. Number two, get a smart assistant. There are quite a few smart assistants out there so I won't go through the list, but Let's talk about their benefits. These devices are pretty cool to the creepy extent. I got to play around with some and they were so much fun. You activate them using voice, so a lot of the times using their name or another keyword that you set up for yourself and then you basically give them voice commands, which means hands-free and for someone who likes to cook, in fact for someone who loves to cook, that is a great benefit. It can also be super useful for people with disabilities and for the elderly. Some of the things that these assistants can do are playing music of your choice, looking things up on the internet, so for example, a recipe while you're cooking, or what's the temperature? Some of them also can access your calendar or email. I mean, it depends on how you set it up, but basically they can help list all the appointments that you have coming up. For example, some of them can actually book appointments for you. So for example, a hairdresser appointment or something like that, which is very creepy, but fun. And finally, they can control the smart devices that you have in your home. And not only they can send commands to them, but they can also schedule them. So for example, if you want your house to be hoovered every day before you get home, the assistant can do that. Or you can schedule uh, the assistant to turn on coffee machine every time you are done with your gym session. So things like that, that kind of save you time and make your life more fun. These assistants are pretty fun and I'm very excited and already very creeped out by all the possibilities, all of the ways that they're going to be in our lives in a few years time. Number three, smart light bulbs. Smart light bulbs are pretty fun. They have quite a lot of functionalities that I guess you would expect from a light bulb. They can turn on and they can turn off. The fun part is that they can do so remotely or when you schedule them to. And some of these smart light bulbs can change colors. So basically you can either create a mood lighting of your dreams or you can schedule a mood lighting of your dream. For example, you come back home from the gym and your smart assistant knows how happy you are, you finally went and so it creates a rainbow for you in your flat. These lights can help you mimic the natural light outside so that it helps your circadian rhythm kind of get in the flow of the day. You can also set them up so that they wake you up naturally in the morning by 
timing that with your alarm and telling them, for example, start 30 minutes before I wake up and gradually start getting lighter and lighter and lighter so that when you do finally open your eyes, you are much more used to being awake, I guess. <laughs> it's a much more natural process. Smart light bulbs are still quite pricey compared to their not so smart colleagues, but they're pretty fun, you know, especially if you like automating your home or if you have children that would just play with it all the time, although that can be dangerous if they're controlling your bedroom. And they're also LED, so that means that they might help you save energy. Number four, smart doorbells. I think these are so cool. Basically what happens is when a guest arrives at your door and rings the doorbell, it notifies your smartphone and not only you can see who has arrived, but you can also have them a conversation and tell them to go away. And some of these smart doorbells have a motion sensor in them, which means that once the guest arrives, before they ring the doorbell, you already have a notification on your phone. And I guess that takes the pranks out of the equation because you will see who has arrived at your door and potentially have an image of them it's if it's a neighbor if it's a neighbor's child and you can go and tell them like this is what's happened in any case these doorbells let you know when people have arrived at your door whether you're at home or not or sometimes with some doorbells that I guess are connected to a smart lock, you can open the door for the guests and let the guest in. This could be especially useful if you're having a dinner party and you don't want to get up or if you're in the kitchen and you can just let this guest in and uh, get on with your business. And finally, number five, creating a digital backup of your key. Keys are great until you lose them. And if you do lose them and you don't have a backup or a spare copy of your keys at your parents' house or your flatmate can't let you in, then you need to call a locksmith to come in and change the locks on your door and basically give you a new set of keys. But the downside of that is that it's pretty expensive and also the locksmith might not be available straight away, so it might take a long time. Raise your hand if you've been in that situation before. Wait, I can't see your hands through the camera. Uh, so if you have lost your keys before, comment below saying I have lost my keys. I'm sorry if I brought some painful memories. I have some good news for you though. You don't have to go through that process anymore because you can create a digital backup key with Key Hero. If you want to find out more about Key Hero, the link will be in the description. It's super easy. I got mine done this morning actually. So let me walk you through the process. First, you need to go to your local Home Depot and get your key scanned. The associate will ask you for either your email address or phone number so that that can be associated with the key. And then they will ask you to name the key. So for example, home front door. After that, you can download the Key Hero app and create a free account. And you should have received a notification at that point with either an email or a text message, depending on the contact information that you have provided, with instructions on how to add a new key. And once you create an account, and once you link that notification with the account, that's it. You have your digital backup of your key stored in an app. And then once you want to duplicate your key, all you have to do is go to a Home Depot with your phone, with the app on it, find the key that you want to cut and select cut on your phone so that it can connect with the cutting machine. And the associate will click on the screen here where it says Key Hero Digital Key. So that's their first step. And it instructs, them to, it instructs the customer to open up the Key Hero app, which I've done, select the key they want to cut, which I've done, and then you will be prompted to enter in this pin number. So once I hit cut key, it says you need to be in front of a machine that's compatible with Key Hero, which currently is at any Home Depot in the country. Hit continue, and then enter in that pin number. And it'll send it directly to the machine. And there it is, home side back door key. They would hit continue, it tells me it's a 66. And on the side here, it has the customer's name and the name of the key. And then you would just cut a key as they normally would. And they can cut as many keys as they want off of that. And that's basically it. The machine will create a physical duplicate of your key that you can go and take home and open your door with. 
And if you want to share your key with someone, so for example, you want to share it with your flatmate, but you can't go and physically get your key duplicated or you can't go and cut it out yourself, you can share that digital backup with that person by just providing their email address or a phone number. It's that easy. And if you're wondering, yes, this process is very secure. Key Hero has ensured state-of-art encryption at every stage of the process. And you never share your physical address anywhere. So the key is only associated with your phone number or your email address. Key Hero takes your security seriously. And I will leave a link in the description if you want to find out more about how they do it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you have learned something new today. Again, thank you very much Kihiro for supporting this video. It was lots of fun going to Home Depot to explore how your product works. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on other social media at Coding Blonde and have a wonderful time today you're currently experiencing. Bye!